two hits. First pitch to Phillips is in for a strike. King 0-1 with an 11.05 ERA. And Phillips will go the other way on him. It's up in the jet stream, threatening at the wall, and it's gone. A home run for Dylan Phillips. That's the way the ball's going to carry tonight. Dylan got a fastball up in the zone and launched it, and the ball just kept carrying, and... Uh, Great job. He stays hot. Ball was up and is inside out. Right left of the 375 sign there in left field. Phillips. Four for ten over the weekend against the Red Raiders. With two home runs. Takes a pitch down. K-State enters today. Second in the Big 12 with 40 homers through 26 games. That number ranks eighth nationally. Phillips was trying to go the opposite way there and fouls it off. One and one. Slugger for the Cats with his two homers over the weekend now has 22 for his career. He's been play, uh, playing pepper with the uh, center field, the batter's eye. He'll drive one here to the gap in right center field. That'll be down for a hit. Phillips rounds first. He's on his way towards second. Takes a big turn and will halt there as Pete Hughes puts up the stop sign. A double with two outs for Dylan Phillips. That was a breaking pitch that stayed up and stayed out over the plate. And Phillips was able to pull it into right center field. No need to try to stretch it into a triple. You don't want to make that last out at third base. Still score on a base hit here. Phillips has continued to hit very well. That's his seventh double of the season, second on the team. And and a breaking ball gets all the way past Dilla Cruz to the backstop. That'll allow Goodwin to advance. That is the 36th wild pitch thrown this year in 19 games by the pitching staff of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Yeah, that curveball bounced back. The, when you throw a breaking pitch and it hits the dirt, it's going to go the opposite direction. And catcher anticipated it going straight. 2-0 to Phillips. Not only 36 wild pitches, but 14 pass balls. So that's 50 pitches that have allowed a base runner to advance. And 47 stolen bases now. Phillips smokes one to center field, but right at Reshek. Tagging at third is Goodwin. He will score. The Wildcats able to manufacture another run here in the fourth. Dylan Phillips has been an RBI machine here recently. That ball was absolutely tattooed. It just happened to go right at Reshek. Phillips seen the ball well tonight. Two more RBIs for him. That's 32. Prepared for uh, fundamentally playing well, making pitches where you need to make them, playing good defense, backing each other up, quality at bats. Uh, all of those things are important, and you, you, you're just coming off of two big wins. You don't want to have a letdown here. You don't want to overlook anything, particularly in your preparation for things. 0-2 to Dylan Phillips, who has produced in each at bat so far today. Double homer, sack fly. Runner at second with one out for Phillips. whose 32 RBIs put him among the Big 12 leaders. One and two. You can see him trying to time up Luster with that leg kick. Such a hard swing from Phillips. That's Homer Dow in three straight games for the Wildcats. 
And he'll drive one the other way again. The only question will be if it's fair or foul. It is fair, and it is long gone. A two-homer game for Dylan Phillips. We got a fastball out over the plate and up. And uh, he did, did what he did with his last one. Got it up in the air and drove it. And uh, he's got opposite field power. With that win, there was no doubt that that was going to carry. It was just a matter of whether it was going to stay fair or not. He hit the roof of the construction trailer that's out beyond left field. Welcome back to Big 12 now on ESPN Plus. I'm Kelsey Bigelow. And you know, the heart of this Wildcat team, he's coming up to bat here shortly. Dylan Phillips coming into this series, batting a 347 on the season. Seven home runs coming in, two tonight already. He's really been the story. 30 RBIs. I mean, the list goes on and on. And I talked to hitting coach Austin Waits earlier this week, and he told me a large part of that success is due to the mental improvements he's made to his game which Austin Waits also says has been the biggest struggle for him throughout his K-State career. But now you ask Austin Waits, and he will tell you that Dylan Phillips is the most dangerous hitter in the Big 12. Well, we've seen it tonight. Great stuff there, Kelsey. Appreciate that. Phillips, calm, cool, collected on the exterior. Sometimes that can belie what's below the surface. And the story there about how Phillips has been able to manage that with his mental approach, and he is locked in right now for K-State. And as he strides to the plate here in the eighth inning, four other Wildcats have hit three homers in a game. He's trying to join that list. He'll go the other way here into the left field side, and it's good. Will one hop its way past Higgins, and now a chance for Phillips to maybe get to third. He's on his way, and he will be a single shy of the cycle. Fastball outside part of the plate did a great job staying behind it and then just took advantage of the ball getting getting by uh, Higgins and and uh, three bagger uh, his slugging percentage has gone up substantially tonight. <laughs> two homers double and a triple and four at bats for Dylan Phillips what a night. Probably won Pete to wave him home but. <laughs> Ball was coming in the infield, so. As we name our player of the game, no surprise to this one, Dylan Phillips. The highlight of the day on the offensive side for the Wildcats. What a day for the slugger of K-State. Well, four hits, all extra base hits, two home runs, one single away from the uh, cycle, and the only time he made it out was a sacrifice fly that scored a run. That was a laser beam to center. Seven, seven, R, or I'm sorry, four RBIs. Uh, pretty good night. Like I said, whether you talk on base percentage, slugging percentage, batting average, pretty, pretty good night's work and continues to stay hot. And uh, great job offensively getting the Cats this win. So Kansas State with a victory now 16 and 11. They are receiving votes in this week's. Riders poll.